All right, me and Brooke make it up to Kansas. Uh, this trip, we're gonna be hunting Mr. Rick Coleman over at the Best Shot Hunting Lodge. This year, I don't know, the turkeys, uh, I think they've been hunted hard. I don't know just what the deal was, but we had trouble getting on some. So we come back into town, it was the second day. Told Rick, said, look, we're having a little trouble getting on turkeys. So he gave us directions to another farm that he could hunt. He said, you go there and, and uh, I think you'll have some luck. Sure enough, we got there, set up, heard a bird gobble. We called and called and messed with them birds, messed with them, and wouldn't move. So come down to it, Brooks, and let's, let's make a move. Let's go to them. Turkey, you see, he is. Oh, he may be a Jake. I ain't real sure. <laughs> Not a Jake? Huh? He looked good at first, but after you shot, I wasn't so sure. Brooke, I couldn't see nothing but his head now. You told me to shoot him. Well, when he flipped, he only had like a three inch beard, I think. <laughs> Brooke, is it legal to shoot a Jake in Kansas? I hope so. Huh? You think it's really a Jake? Maybe. That would have been the strutter, I would think. <laughs> he was the boss. <laughs> he was the boss. Brooke, if you led me wrong, I broke out the camera up over the, I was behind old, old Chester here. I can't really see good stuff. I was behind, well, Brooke, you had the camera you were looking at. I was behind old Chester, and there was three or four gobblers out there. And we know one of them was a good one. We don't know which one or maybe all of them, but we could tell one of them was a good one just by way of gobbling. I mean, Colin sucker two or three hours. So probably a good bird. So Brooke, he, uh, he just picked the camera up right side of Chester here so he could see it. And then he called just one day in, not to make but one more call in that box. Them turkeys loved that box call. There was a hen been hanging out with us all evening. They wouldn't even answer her. They wouldn't even say nothing. Her and Brooke could get the old, uh, what county box calls that? <laughs> what is that? The old... That's the old Marion County. Marion County box call, old Brooke. Huh? <laughs> One may gobble. But anyhow, Brooke held the camera up so he could see. And he told me to shoot. <laughs> Well, stoves. I mean, the battery was going dead. I didn't yeah, have he kept saying, he kept saying, go ahead and shoot, go ahead and shoot, go ahead and shoot. I said, what is so funny? He said, you have just shot a Jake. I said, there ain't no way you just told me to shoot a Jake. Let's see. You started Jake wagon with. <laughs> what a stud. Oh, that's a freaking four year old dude. He's got a decent beard stuff. Couple of beards on him. Oh yeah. Yeah, he I got was me. pulling your leg. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I didn't know. All I know is it was a gobbler. And Brooke said shoot it and then he died laughing after <laughs> I shot it. I mean he just went to laugh and I said, What? He said, You killed that. I said, I know I killed it. <laughs> He says, Jake, I said, Brooke, you better be lying to me. Because he already knew I couldn't see the beard. He was in the corn stubble and behind some tall grass here. I could just see his head run up. 
and that old snoot hanging down about a foot. So I knew, I figured he was a really good turkey the way he was acting. Well, you couldn't call him in. But uh, that other turkey, he's a, he's, a, he's a mate to that one. That's about a, about a nine, nine and a half inch beard. Anyway, good turkey, give God the praise. Had a good time hunting up here in Canyon. We're gonna kill some more this season. All right, so me and Stu has been hunting around Kansas for a couple of days and he's finally got a bird on the ground and now it's my turn. Well, Rick's been telling us about this property that's not too far from his lodge that uh, he has permission to hunt, so we go check it out. Sure enough, we get out there and there's a long beard that's strutting around with a bunch of hens, so uh, we go down the road, make a pass on him and figure out how we can get in there and get him killed. So it's the last evening. Both me and Stubbs have tags left to fill. And uh, we go in there and we end up setting up on this ditch and we're not real sure which way the turkey's gonna come. So he sets up on one side and I set up on the other. <laughs> now, who you gonna give the praise, Brooke? <laughs> I gotta give God all the praise on this one. What was that, a four minute hunt? Last ditch effort here, the truck is parked right there. He saw yeah. the truck and was fixing to go back. And I said, I gotta shoot him right here. So, this is it. Ain't no sad stories on this one. Done deal. That's a done deal right there. Well, we set up two different ways for him this time. Yeah. We didn't put all our eggs in one basket. We had two cameras set up two ways because he has been, they have been just putting it on us, folks, like oh nobody's gosh. business. But we sick of it. We're here to get it done. Yep. That's a bird to be proud of right there. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Look at that one. All right. Got a bite to eat and uh, decided to come out here and just check him, see if he was in the area and park the truck right here. The truck's literally 100 yards right there, maybe. And uh, Stubbs got the box called and called and they hammered right down here. So we rushed around, got our stuff together and came up here on this ledge here and set up. And sure enough, the bird was gobbling the whole way in. And, uh, we were set up two different ways, didn't really know which way was gonna come up here. And uh, he just happened to come down my side. And I just give God all the praise for making this happen. It's been a tough time here in Kansas. And just to go out on a bang is, man, that's just unbelievable. So this is one of those textbook hunts where the bird just, you know, he's coming. It don't matter what you do, the bird is coming. We ended up actually driving in there and parking, I don't know, probably, 100 yards from where the turkey actually came out. And uh, man, it's just awesome when it all comes together. Sometimes it don't seem like you can do anything wrong. But uh, man, we just, Kansas was tough this time. But finally, we got two birds on the ground. We're going back home with some tags in our pocket. But uh, man, we had an awesome time.